Hey there, so welcome back and in this lesson we are going to look at storage service. This is Atul from team K21 Academy. In the previous lesson we looked at Azure network and let's continue from there about storage service. Now there are primarily three type of um, storage that you see. One is object storage that's in the form of blob. Then you have a block storage that's in the form of disk and then you have a file storage which is Azure file service. There's a fourth um, storage category which Microsoft Azure says which is queue which is like you might have heard of uh, messaging queues or message queues or JMS Java message queue or Microsoft message queue uh, which is a reliable queue method so this is uh, you have but apart from that three standard storage you might have uh, be aware of object storage which is for unstructured data for large uh, um, objects, things like your images, J JPGs, files, backups, anything that you you put, um, like movies, etc. So that's stored in Blob, uh, which is a object storage. Now, file server is a uh, you might have heard of file share uh, or uh, SMB or NFS file share. Those you can mount on uh, over the network or across different servers using an NFS network file share protocol. So that's file server. And then you have a disk, which is a uh, block storage. You have the data being written in block, which probably you need it when you attach a virtual machine to that, or you might be installing databases that need storage. That is where you have a disk, which is a premium disk, high IOs, and can be attached to the virtual machine. So these are the main categories of storage. Now in Azure, there's a concept of Azure storage account which contains all of your um, storage data objects like your blob, file, queues, tables, disk, everything that you create as a underlying storage that goes in inside a storage account. And the storage account, you provide you a unique namespace or unique name for your storing your data, which can be accessible from anywhere over HTTP or HTTPS protocol. Now, the data in this Azure storage account is durable, which means um, Microsoft will copy or have the multiple copies of these data, which uh, automatically will be uh, backed up and uh, the chances of getting any corruption are um, almost none of those or almost none for these. That's highly durable. It's highly available, which means Microsoft will keep multiple copies depending on type of um, journal account you keep or a storage account you create. And it's massively scalable, which means you can add a lot. Now, there are different categories of storage account. When you create, you will you will be getting these storage account. So you can go to Azure account and then say create a storage account. And inside that storage account, you will type or select storage account kind. And that will dictate whether it's a general purpose version one, version two or file storage account or you have a blob storage account only. So you can create and you can create multiple storage accounts uh, here and then you can also select a replication which means with, where do you want to replicate replicate you don't want any replication you want to replicate within data centers you want to replicate across availability zone or across region now what is this region availability zone we're going to see that shortly so these storage account are accessible through different protocols so if you have a queue we also have a another storage type called table, which will have um, the normal. This is not a, your relational database table. It's like a uh, standard table type of storage account you need. You have a blob storage, queue storage, or table storage. They can be these are accessible over REST API. You also have a file or disk storage that you usually attach to your virtual machine. So your virtual machine, if that needs additional storage, you can attach a stor disk storage, which is your block storage, and you have also file storage, which is NFS file server. So this is an example of virtual machine with storage where you have virtual machine, and you can then add additional disks coming from your storage account. Uh, so your uh, and within your storage account you have a standard storage which will give you blob table file or queue you also have a premium storage which will give you the virtual machine disk vm so that's about storage on account again as i said depending on which program you are you might be creating if you're part of as your data engineer you might be creating some as your storage account or if you're part of as your administration solution architect we'll be seeing them or dp um, DP100, which is data science, you might need some data store. That's where we'll look at storage account. 
So that's storage account. Now head on to the next lesson where we look at data platform or data services. This is mainly important if you're working on uh, as your data engineer, which is DP 200, as your uh, or uh, DP 300, which is data database administrator, or as your DP 900, which is as your data fundamentals. So we'll look at data platform or as your data engineer in the next lesson. Well. This was our Azure Cloud Expert, Mr. Atul from Team K21 Academy, and this clip was taken from our free course for Azure beginners. Even if you're a beginner, this course will give you a holistic overview of Azure Cloud, Azure DevOps, Azure Data, Azure Security, and whatnot. And if you're already working on Azure Cloud, then this course will help you to revise your basic concepts. In order to subscribe to this course, all you have to do is just go to k21academy.com forward slash Azure and subscribe to this course. And within 50 minutes, you'll be getting an email. Under that, you'll be getting your login credentials and our WhatsApp group where you can ask your every doubt related to Azure Cloud. Thank you, and I will see you in the free course.